everyone in this video today we are going to review something really interesting uh, a product specially designed for people who like to help themselves something for DIY enthusiast so my buddy Al is going to talk more about that hey everybody so I got a new product here I always thought how can I get this damn door off without it falling on me and without having my buddy help me so I thought wouldn't it be cool to have some wheels on this thing or a little lift or a jack or something I couldn't find it anywhere so I started looking around and I noticed this video online. So I, I called this company up and I said, hey, I wanna buy one. So here's what I got. Let's open up. Here's how it comes. It comes just like this. And oh, there it is. It's the door stud. And it is not light. It is built pretty heavy. So we open it up. I haven't put this together at all. This is the way it is. Get it? Gives you this. Uh, Instruction sheet. I did peek at the instruction sheet just to see if I need tools, and to my surprise, we do not. So, let's see what we got here. We got two brackets. This is the Pro version, by the way. They make three different models, the Construction, the Pro, and the Do-It-Yourselfer. The only real difference between the Pro and the Do-It-Yourselfer is that the Pro opens a little wider, which I have an extra wide or thick front door. This is an interior door. My front door is super old, solid wood, and an inch and three quarter, maybe even a little bigger. So let's get some of these parts out and we're going to build it as we go. And excuse me if I screw up. By the way, for all of you that don't know, I don't see well. I got one eye gone, one eye's legally blind. I barely see. So this is going to help me out a lot. All right. I know, I'm just throwing them everywhere. We'll figure out where they go in a minute. All right, so let's try to put this thing together and wing it and see how we go. I'm a little OCD, so I like to separate out all my stuff that matches. Let's see here. So already I've already mixed up one part because I've got an extra. There we go. Okay, there's the wheels. There's the parts. There's the wheels, here's the parts and a bag of, let's see, all lock, lock washers. Okay, so let's get that open without spraying them everywhere, hopefully. There we go. And we can look at the basic instructions, obviously. Oh, pretty obvious, the wheels go through. I don't think there's a difference between them. They have, let's see if they're the same. are the same. Okay. All right. And they go through the bottom and they thread in. As you can see, they're quite large nuts, spot welded. Pretty thick uh, thread there. We're not going to go all the way. We'll just go most of the way. So there's that. And if we're looking here, we've got the stop block and the handles. The walk washer goes on it. I didn't bring a wrench in. Should probably get in a wrench, tighten this, so we can tighten these down solid, because this is what levels it off. This is what gives you the level for your door. So when you put it back together, it's all in place. Now, we've got these and they are different. Looks like we have different spacer sizes is what they are. So there we go. Because the best move is to Pull that, about, pull that down. Don't do it while it's up because you're gonna catch on it. As you can see, I did. So we'll try that with the second one now. And there we go, that did go in easier. That would be the best move. So, back to the original, finish that off. 
So now I am going to look at this because it appears that the deeper of the two goes on top of here, clips on, and this clicks into this side. And there's no hole on this side, so pretty easy. And there we go. And there's some locks on them and so forth. Let's get the second one done. So we're gonna tighten this with the wrench being a 21 millimeter. And the first one I did surprisingly tightened a lot more than I thought. Nope, am I catching it? I am not. There we go. Let's try that again. I mean, this really tightens on, as you can tell. So now, when I do it, it's lowering and raising it. All right, so we're gonna lower these to floor level so we can slide it under the door. I already did that one. Just getting the second one ready. I shouldn't have to go all the way, but you know. So let's go down and let's see. Boom. Look at that, it slides right under. Now we raise it, and I'm doing both of them. You can't see me on the back side, but I'm. All right, so my first error was, I didn't realize that I had the thin door in here. It's an internal door. So you have to use the spacer. So take this and pop it on. There we go. And you'll have look, it'll look like this. As you can see, it's already on this one. And now, as of course I try to, I hit the, the actual spacer there. Goes right on, it won't scar it. And we probably wanna put this one further back. And then the other one, slide that on. And I would imagine, although I haven't tested this theory, that you want to keep these within. This one's not all the way in yet. Within the same distance. And again, make sure your little plunger is pushed back so it slides on. So, now you can see I just reversed these. We'll try that. Maybe it'll counterbalance it. Let's see if it works. Okay, so we're all in. We gotta clamp it. That one's clamped. That one's clamped. Feels really solid. We're gonna level these out. Not lift it up, just level it. Because if we lift it up, what happens? We can't put it back right where it was. The whole idea of this is to take the door off and move it around. Now, I can already tell that the wheels are not even here. They're staggered but they're staggered evenly on both sides. So hopefully this will work. We'll try it out. I've got my punch and my hammer I'm gonna drop. I told you, can't see, and I'm looking at the bottom. So there we go. Let's go to the back side here. Come on this way. I suppose I should have had a light back here to see better, but we'll just wing it again. So there's this. Okay, so we'll go for the second pin. It's not going to do much good taking one out. Although I have been known to do that. Come on, come on, get centered. That one's in there a little bit more. Okay, so there's that one. There's that one. Here's the real trick. Oh! It worked. Look at that. I'm not holding it. It's like a showroom. You can spin it around. And you can put it right back. Look at that. Now obviously, you know, you need to tilt it a little bit because, but you don't see me really holding it. Two fingers. I'm just moving it. And getting it out of the way. And that's it.